Hey YouTube, this is my very first video and I'm going to be reviewing Halo Wars today. I'm going to be doing this by showing you a multiplayer game, a 1v1. I'm going to Warthog Rush the other, the other BK. And just to show you guys how the, the game works. You can uh, pick different characters. There's three UNSC, there's three Alien. It could be the Arbiter, the Brute Chieftain, Prophet of Regret, or Press Professor Anders, Sergeant Forge, Captain Cutter. Personally, I like Forge because he gets heavy supply pads right away, which will give you resources. The searching process takes not too long. It just depends on how many people are on. Usually after the uh, young ones get out of school, that's when they play, because this game is kind of geeky. But for an overall console RTS, I believe that it's it's all right, and you'll you'll see that right now. It's getting ready to start up. We're playing on the map release, release one v one. Playing against Rick Roller. This should be exciting. So basically you have this big base and you hit A and it goes into a circle menu and you can make barracks, heavy supply pad, or reactor. The other three things take a higher tech level which you can do by getting a reactor but first we want to build our heavy supply pads to get uh, more supplies. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of those on Queen. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Warthog here and I'm going to search for blue supply boxes. And here they are. Get that working. I want supply pass complete. My resources are right up here. So this is 470, 480. Supply pads cooking in the oven. Gonna make another one just so I can get a bunch of supplies. Yes, sir. Supply pad complete. Make a couple more warthogs up in the base. And as you can see, there's a top map up here. Right up there, where the thing's at. And the purple thing is the alien base, who I'm gonna have to kill. And that's my base. There's my warthog. Got my supply pads almost done. Warthog, I'm even going to build another supply pad because he's not going to rush me, it looks like. So I'm going to have to. I don't need units right now. My warthogs can't do anything without a gun, so I'm going to have to wait for that too. Basically, it takes patience. When you hit start, it shows you that I've been in the game for a minute 53. You can see that. Yep. All units. Put all my units right there for now. Supply pad. Gonna make a reactor so I can put guns on my warthogs. Upgrade to a fortress. There's no need for turrets because some people think you need to put turrets down, but if he's not gonna attack me, I don't need turrets. I'm gonna be the one attacking him first. Fortress upgrade complete. Where to? So I'm just, I'm just gonna build another supply pad. And, you know, eventually build another reactor. Put guns on my warthogs. I'm gonna take this base over here, and I'm gonna bring it back after I do that, so I don't run out of uh, time here. Okay, so we're back, and basically all I've done is I've taken another base. It's right here. Took it from the flood. Base under attack. All oh units. wow, it looks like our base is under attack. Uh, All units. By a ghost. When you start the game, you have one ghost, you have one warthog, whatever, if you're an alien or human or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send all my warthogs down here, take out this ghost first. You can't do much to my base, but I'll just show you how. All units. I mean, that ghost is dead. All units. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna send my 16 warthogs and send them over to the alien base, which is right here. Now it shouldn't take them long. I mean, it's been 
nine minutes. If it's under ten minutes, you're good because there's no way. All units. Okay, see, so, you now they have another base up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack that first. All units. There's the Arbiter. That's the leader for the other aliens. Now that he's down, we're gonna take out this base. It's, it's almost down anyway, so I'll go back to my other bases, make some more Warthogs, send them in. Made three there. Made three here. I'm gonna go ahead and make a, I'm gonna hit upgrade this base. All units. I'm, I'm actually surprised to see what kind of units um, the aliens have had because they've had nine minutes to make them, and I've got all these Warthogs, so I, I think when we go down here to their main base, we'll find out how much they have actually. So there's my fleet going all the way down there. All units. Local units. We've got about 10 of them. All units. Let's see if it'll be enough. All and they've units. got nothing. They've been preparing, they've been upgrading, but they haven't made any units. So that's that's the biggest mistake you can make. Now if this was a 3v3, it'd be completely different. But since it's a 1v1, these guys are screwed. It's, it's over. Game over. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the Spirit of Fire menu and carbon bomb these guys. And I have tons of money. Shields are down. They have no units at all. We just made another Arbor, but uh, I should be able to take that out real quick. In the meantime, just still make some Warthogs. You got plenty of money. All units. Actually, the Arbiter is giving me a little more trouble than I would like. He actually destroyed most of my fleet. Wow, I, I wasn't expecting that. But anyways, the game's over. I mean, he doesn't have a hope, so... Anyways, my battery is about to die, but I mean, this guy's screwed. I have 3,000 points, so thanks for watching.